for question 10 from part 5 of the in-class work. So the question was here, this is an optimization uh, question, you conducting a telephone survey and you've got some constraints here, you can see the con constraints right away, to contact at least 160 da 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 da. Now it costs two dollars to make a daytime call and four to make an evening call. And we've got some constraints, right, just look through those. Now, it says, what are the decision variables in the problem? Well, it says here, we determine how to minimize the costs of completing the survey. So we need to minimize the costs. So we're making telephone calls and they cost $2 during the day and $4 at night. So we have to minimize the daytime calls and the number of nighttime calls. So when they're multiplied and added together, we minimize the cost. OK, let's move on then to writing up our uh, solver paper for this. Here is the worksheet. And I put here the costs, daytime and evening, two and four. Underneath it, I've written the constraints, 0.25. They're not the constraints, but these are the probabilities of people answering. So these are fixed. So daytime, you've got a 25% chance of getting a wife answer, 15.1.15. And presumably the missing uh, probabilities are people don't answer the phone or something like that. So those are the fixed things that we know we have to deal with. Number of calls in this row here, in row 9, is the decision variable. The decision variable. So we're going to ask Solver to find the number of calls for daytime and evening, which minimizes the total costs. The constraints here, the constraints here, we need to have at least 160 wives answering the phone call. That's what it says. We need to have 140 husbands, single males, females. So when we solver goes through these, the solution must be at least that number here, at least the required number. The objective cell here below is we want to minimize the number of calls and the costs. How do we find this number out? It's going to cost us the number of calls in C9, that's what's going to cost us, how many calls we make times, if it's a daytime call it's going to cost us two dollars per call. So in this case, it's for daytime, it would be 2 times 600, that's 1,200. Plus, we're going to make some evening calls. So in this case, it would be 200 times 4 for evening, that would be 800. So 1,200, 800 gives us 2,000, 2,000. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to minimize that cost. So these constraints, you know, whether or not it's a uh, input, whether or not it's a wife answered or something like that, those don't come into our objective function. The objective function is just to minimize the number of calls and the costs of those calls. Those percentages, 25%, da, 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 come in as a constraint, as a constraint. So let's just see uh, how calculated it is. Let's see how we calculated it. So for wives, for example, in uh, cell C14, it's going to be 0.25, so that's the probability of a wife answering the call, times the number of calls. So we make uh, 600 calls, 25%, it's a wife answering it. 
we also make daytime calls to people's wives. So that's going to, uh, evening calls. So that's going to be 200 times 0.25. So 600 times 0.25 plus 200 times 0.25 is going to be what we actually calculate how many wives will answer the telephone call uh, at daytime and nighttime. And that number, that calculated number, has to be at least as great as the constraint. It's got to be more than or equal to the constraint. He has to call at least 160 wives. And the same with the husband. The same, we, we get it in the same way. Okay. Now there's another constraint, isn't there, which at least half of the calls have to be in daytime. And we can fix that when we work in the solver. All right, let's just set these number of calls to some arbitrary number so that we can see it changing. All right, now let's run solver. I'm going to uh, first indicate here the objective cell. So the objective cell is the profit, isn't it? The, we want to minimize, so it's not the profit, it's the minimum cost. So that will be in cell C19. Notice here we want to change this to minimum, change this to minimum, because we want to make it as small as possible, which is not quite the same as what we've been doing before. Our variable cells are here. Number of calls, C nine and D nine. Now the constraints. First of all, we have to have half of the calls made during the daytime. That's one of the constraints. So we could easily do that. This, this is our first constraint here. If we make C nine must be at least as big as D nine. Therefore, half is going to be, this is always going to be larger than uh, this one. Husband here, this one, that's the constraint here on, on uh, row 15. Whatever is calculated has to be greater than 114. Single females has to be greater than 120, etc., etc. The same constraints there. We want to set this to simplex LP. This is um, not uh, any sort of quadratic function, so it'll just be simplex and then press solve and we find that the solution is here 2000 now notice here would you say we're probably going to have some binding constraints because 110 110 110 etc so let's just run solver again and just look at the sensitivity report Okay, here's the sensitivity report, and as we uh, thought, the constraints are binding for single females and uh, single males. It's a binding constraint. So in other words, if we could get uh, one more, we could reduce the cost a bit. It's a binding constraint. This isn't the easiest of... Um, uh, objective functions to set up, but worth doing again on your own. Thank you.